it's time to go beyond Plus Ultra with the latest Hero Academia Nendoroid. All Might is the second non-student MHA Nendo after Shigaraki earlier this year. Given his heroic, larger-than-life character design, he ends up being a unique addition to not only the Hero Academia lineup, but Nendoroids as a whole. So let's dive into the contents of the box. For body parts, he comes with two faceplates, three left hands, and three right hands. One of which is more of a punching effect than an actual usable hand. Aside from that, he comes with a jumbo-sized 4x4 base, a smash text plate, and a sticker sheet which I'll get to later on. Here is the classic spin around, straight out of the box. The first thing that immediately catches my attention are the horrendous elbow joints. Usually when the arms and legs are like this, GSC do a decent job of making the joints pretty subtle from the front, but All Might's arms here really do end up looking a bit too action figure for my tastes, especially with his generic hero aesthetic. But getting past that, he really is quite lovable, which is true of him in the source material too. All Might has a really unique body shape, which stays in line with the Nendoroid aesthetic while still keeping his huge muscles. He may look kind of strange at first, but he really does grow on you. As I mentioned before, he comes with a sticker sheet, which has two star stickers on it. At first I was like, what? That's so low effort and terrible. But after thinking about it for a bit, I've come around to the idea of it. The intended usage is to stick it on his grinning faceplate like this. I found it cute to stick the other on his thumb, but there are a lot of places where you could stick these. For example, his eyes, the punching effect piece, or even other Nendos. So it's actually pretty cool and I low-key want more of them. Before we move on, there's a quirk with his grinning faceplate. His eyebrows can rotate. It's kind of subtle, but it does let you change his expression, which is a pretty neat idea to get more uses out of the one faceplate. Anyway, it wouldn't be an Ando Experience Nendo review if I didn't stick them in a running pose. So here he is, waving mid-dash. I don't think anyone would actually be leaving him in a pose like this, but it is definitely fun. Finally, what you've probably been waiting for is some punchy punchy, smashy smashy action. It's kind of hard to notice, but his yelling face plate actually has blue irises, where his other just had completely black eyes. Anyway, looking at the pose itself, what can I say? All Might definitely pulls off a punch better than the Deku Nendo ever could, and looks so cool while doing it. Of course, it wouldn't be true to All Might if he couldn't take it up a notch. With the added hand effect and text plate, he looks incredibly powerful. The only thing missing from this is a matching Nomu Nendoroid that could be launched into orbit. The last thing I want to touch on is size. Given that his body looks so huge, you would expect him to be bigger than a normal Nendoroid, but he isn't. As you can see, he's practically the same size as Deku. All Might's head is slightly smaller than average to compensate for his huge body, which gives the illusion that he's bigger when he really isn't. This whole thing makes me wonder why they even bothered giving him the 4x4 base. For my final thoughts, I think he's an excellent pickup that can fit in with all of the other Hero Academia Nendos with either a playful or serious pose. He doesn't come with a huge amount of accessories, but the joints on his arms and legs let him flex, run and jump into any situation you'd want to throw him into. As always, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you have, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more anime figure content. This has been the Andor Experience, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.